Hey, what's up everyone? I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night. But for now, let's get into the video. Men can't conceptualize that women are single by choice because men are rarely single by choice. There are, of course, always the exceptions, but this is speaking in grand overarching terms. The vast majority of women that I know that are single are not single because they're not being chosen. They are single because despite the DMs and the countless, who is she, what's her deal? Can you give me her number? Can I get to know her? They are still choosing singleness because the vast majority of us have recognized that men do not have a good return on investment. Or because you're good enough to sleep with but not much else. It doesn't matter if you get 100 DMs a day, if none of those sending you a DM will take you seriously. In fact, those ones being in your DMs every single day will never take you seriously. Other than that, it's the same old argument. Women are happier being single because men cannot. You keep telling yourself that, princess. Uh, what have I actually just watched? What in the fuckery is actually going on with our generation? So, first off, if you've not watched that video, go and watch it. And then come back and give me your opinion. Girls, girls, girls. I'm slightly concerned what is wrong with girls in our generation nowadays. Because they all the men lined up in that video are going to do that to them. You got men there queuing up and you got girls allowing however many men are there to queue up and wait for them to do that to them. What has the world actually come to? Like, imagine that being your child. Imagine them girls, when you have a child, you watch a video of them with all their men lined up to do that to them. Yes, but men are not a good return on investment, you see. Two young ladies waiting for so many men to run a train on them, and yet men are not a good return on investment when it comes to relationships, right? I mean, sure, why not? There's no doubt in my mind in 10 years they'll be them also claiming they're so much happier being single when no man will take them seriously. I'm not listening to you, hippy dippy mother again okay because it's literally ruined my life um everyone said to me Tulula, you need to be more garam masala and you need to like find your inner self you need to stop always having to have your hair done and your makeup and maybe wear a tracksuit and i was like actually yeah i haven't even gotten my hair done for like three whole weeks okay i've sort of i've tried to you know center myself and get with all of that and not be so i want to jump in front of a bus okay i'm sad oh no anyway yeah, that with the bus, not a great idea. Leave those bus drivers alone, they've done nothing to you. But this is what happens when you take your advice from TikTok. Listen to this lunatic. This is how to become the best version of yourself. Physically, spiritually, professionally, mentally, emotionally. Full proof. This is how you glow up your life. Winter arc is here, meaning we're not waiting for the new year to start our goals. We're starting right now. We're becoming our highest self before the new year. And I'm going to make this a little glow up series where I give you spiritual tips to glow up. Astrology tips to glow. Quantum physics. Right. Quantum physics tips following the astrology tip. Yeah, no, for sure she knows what she's talking about. Because she got those quantum physics tips herself from reading the horoscope. I just watched a video of this guy. He was serious. Taking applications for a lavender marriage. I had no idea what that was. I had to Google it. It's kind of a genius. I don't know. I can see where that would be very beneficial in 2024 because the dating scene is a dumpster fire. People are happier in their solitude and their peace than having to deal with lying, manipulating, and cheating all the time. I remember in my last situationship I was in, and it's the last one I'll ever be in, he was always saying like, what can you bring to my table? Excuse me, sir. My life is 10 times less stressful, more fulfilling, peaceful, without a man in it. When men are asking what women can bring to their table, Women aren't valid. A lavender marriage, if that's what we're calling it, that would solve all the problems. And yet none of my problems. I had to Google this myself, the lavender marriage, and that's as you've probably guessed it, a marriage of convenience. Now, how would you find that genius and it will solve all your problems when you're so much happier without a man in your life? Isn't that kind of a contradiction? 
how to get into a guy's head. I'm bringing the series back because you guys miss it. The best way to get into a guy's head is to humble him. If he's fucked up and done something bad, this is exactly what you say. I'm not mad. I'm not angry. I'm just losing interest in you. <sighs> Another one, when you're angry at them and they ask you, are you angry at me? You say, no, I'm just icked out. Say it to them. They will never reflect more on themselves after you say that they're being icky. Tell him that he is not what you expected him to be like. This will play in his head for days. If he complains about like what you're wearing, what you're doing, and he's being rude about it, like only say this if he's being rude, just be like, I'm not used to men whining. I'm not used to men complaining. No one should tell you what you can and can't wear, what you can and can't do. Nobody can still dump you in a split second. Humble him, get into his head. Every single one of them with or without you doing that dump you. And I can promise you you're never stuck in any one of them's head. You're only projecting your bitterness that they've all dumped you. The girlies are quitting their jobs. McKinsey just released their Women at Work Report 2024 edition. And what they found is that about a third of women are planning to leave their jobs. One third of women. And not all of them wanna quit, but the ones that are staying are saying that they wanna take reduced hours or potentially even work fewer days per week. What they uncovered were a few things. One, they're dealing with microaggressions at work. Two, four out of 10 women still say that they do the lion's share of the work at home. Three, they're not getting promoted as fast as they hoped to. And four, I really think that women want to take their talents and their desires and their ambitions because we have them and they want to put it towards their own thing or something that they feel more passionate about. Oh no, no one saw that coming. A third of the boss babes only want to be babes. Well, I'm sure that's gonna pay your rent, so why not? I just got back from a day and guys, I'm just so overdating. I'm so overdating. Like, that was a first date and I feel like I'm constantly doing first dates. And it's just like, I'm over it, I'm bored. I don't get any fun out of it anymore. But then I'm also at the same time thinking like, I have to go through the first dates to then find the fun. But then I'm like, I just CBA, like I just wanna have that instant, <laughs> instant connection with someone, you know? Or like, even just like meet someone out. Like, I think the pressure of going on a date just takes away like the fun. I'm sure it does, but yeah, you're obviously dating for the right reasons. Whoever wants to date to find a long-term relationship, I mean, well, why would you? The more interesting part is, I think, you can get past that first date. Well, I can never say I wonder why. I want to have a chat with all the girl dads here, okay? If you're a girl dad, sit down. It's been over a year since I had a conversation with my dad. Like, text conversation. Like, I've seen him in person, and I've tried to give him a hug. He doesn't look me in the eyes. He doesn't talk to me. He actually usually leaves like i know the man disapproves of me and does not like me that's usually what happens when you're half naked on the internet all the time i'm absolutely appalled with tiktok this morning if you have an account or especially if you have a kid that has an account you need to listen to this yesterday my fiance was scrolling through like normal and with him being a guy his content and my content are way different he came across something and he came and he said, he showed it to me and he said, how is this on TikTok? How is this still up? And I looked and it was a full on unclothed girl spread for everything, everything to see. So I uh, was looking at the account. It's the whole account, the whole entire account, 40, 50 videos. The whole, the whole thing. Yeah, that's exactly what they promote. They were also caught a while back with showing different comments for the same video based on if you were a guy or a girl. If you were a man, you were seeing hateful comments from women and if you were a woman, you were seeing hateful comments from men on the same video. A couple of weeks ago, they banned a TikToker with more than 1 million followers because he was promoting being fit and skinny. So yeah, that's TikTok for you. Alright then, this is gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you in the next one.